Unit 3, Lesson 9, Solving Rate Problems. Number 1. This package of sliced cheese costs $2.97. How much would a package of 18 slices cost at the same price per slice? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, if you look at the drawing of the package of cheese, it shows that there's 11 slices. So there's 11 slices for $2.97. So I made a table with the slices on the left and the dollar amount on the right. I started out with 11 slices for $2.97. I divided 11 by 11 so I could figure out how much it costs for just one slice. Then I divided $2.97 by 11 and figured out that it was 27 cents per slice. I multiplied 1 times 18 since they wanted to know how much it would cost for 18 slices. So then I multiplied 27 cents times 18 and I got $4.86. For 18 slices it would cost $4.86. Number 2 a copy machine can print 480 copies every four minutes. For each question, explain or show your reasoning. A. How many copies can it print in 10 minutes? I created a table and I put 480 copies on the left and four minutes on the right. To figure out how many copies the copy machine can make in one minute, I divided the four minutes by four and I got one minute. I also needed to divide the 480 copies by 4 and I got 120. So in one minute, the copy machine can make 120 copies. To make 10 minutes, I multiplied the 1 minute times 10. And since I multiplied the minutes times 10, I needed to multiply the number of copies by 10. And I got 1,200. This machine can make 1,200 copies in 10 minutes. B. A teacher printed 720 copies. How long did it take to print? Now we just found out that the copy machine can make 120 copies in one minute. So let's create a table and we'll start with one minute 120 copies. 6 times 120 would give me 720. So in 6 minutes the teacher could have printed 720 copies. Number three, order these objects from heaviest to lightest. Note, one pound equals 16 ounces, one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds, and one ton equals 2,000 pounds. Let's turn everything into pounds. A school bus, nine tons. So turn it into pounds by multiplying it by 2,000. A school bus weighs 18,000 pounds. Horse, 1,100 pounds. It's already in pounds. There's no math to do. Elephant, 5,500 kilograms. Multiply that by 2.2 and you get 13,000 pounds. A grand piano, 15,840 ounces. Divide that by 16 because there's 16 ounces in a pound. 15,840 divided by 16 is 990. A grand piano weighs 990 pounds. The school bus is the heaviest, so that's rank number one. The elephant is the second heaviest. The horse is the third. And then finally, the grand piano is the fourth. Number four. Andre sometimes mows lawns on the weekend to make extra money. Two weeks ago, he mowed a neighbor's lawn for a half hour and earned $10. Last week he mowed his uncle's lawn for three halves, hours, and earned thirty dollars. This week he mowed the lawn of a community center for two hours and he earned thirty dollars. Which jobs paid better than others? Explain your reasoning. His neighbor's lawn took him a half hour and he got paid ten dollars. Multiply the half hour times two and you have one full hour. So you multiply the $10 times two and you have $20. He was paid $20 per hour to mow his neighbor's lawn. Now his uncle's lawn, it took him three half hours. Multiply three over two times two over three and you'll get six sixths. Six sixths is the same as one. 
So multiply 30 by 2 over 3, and you get 60 over 3. 60 over 3 means 60 divided by 3, and you get 20. So for one hour, he made $20 mowing his uncle's lawn. The community center, he spent two hours mowing it and was paid $30. Divide the two hours by two and you get one hour. Divide the $30 by two and you get $15. The community center, he was paid $15 for one hour's worth of work. The neighbor and the uncle both paid $20 per hour, which is better than the $15 an hour paid by the community center. Number five, calculate and express your answers in decimal form. A, one half times 17. One half times 17 over one equals 17 halves. 17 halves means 17 divided by two and 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. B. 3 fourths times 200. 3 fourths times 200 over 1 equals 600 over 4. And 600 over 4 means 600 divided by 4. 600 divided by 4 equals 150. C. 2 tenths times 40, or 40 times 2 tenths. 40 times 2 tenths is 8, or 8.0. D, 25 hundredths times 60, or 0.25 times 60. 25 hundredths times 60 equals 15 or 15.0. Number six, A. Decompose this polygon so that its area can be calculated. All measurements are in centimeters. In the top section of this heart-shaped polygon, you have two squares that are two by two centimeters, and you have four triangles that are two by two centimeters. In the middle section of this heart-shaped polygon, you have a rectangle that's 3 centimeters tall and 12 centimeters wide. If you look at the bottom section of this heart-shaped polygon, you have one large triangle that's 6 centimeters tall and 12 centimeters wide. B. Calculate its area. Organize your work so that it can be followed by others. I added up the area of all the shapes inside the polygon and I got 88 centimeters squared or 88 square centimeters. The combined area of the polygon is 88 centimeters squared. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 3 Lesson 9 Solving Rate Problems.